been raining all week. I haven't been able to work on it much, but uh, today we had a nice sunny day. So I made some serious progress today. Uh, I finished um, the slide in portion. Got some paint on it early, early this morning so the sun could cook it on. And I was able to get the top portion of the shell fitted to the slide in frame. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, I removed the rack. If you looked at the previous video, the rack that was on top. I shit you not, it was like 80 to 100 pounds of steel this guy had bolted to the roof of this thing. So that allowed me, it was just enough weight where I could lift this thing by myself carry it basically on my head do an overhead press and get this thing on there um, all by myself like to killed me I nearly dropped it but I made it happen so I couldn't be happier with the way it fit uh, tape measures work so you'll you'll see here that I've got some gaps here and what I'll do is from the outside I'll put a floor jack with a 2x4 to apply pressure up and then I'll be able to run my screw my screws from the underside up into here uh, but before that as opposed to using glue which is what I've been using for the plywood I want to go get a caulking tube of construction adhesive subfloor adhesive uh, I don't know what it is about that shit but it, it <clears throat> excuse me it's um, I don't know it just works better than glue so I'm gonna get that I'll lift this up put down a bead of construction adhesive in between the frame and the shell itself, apply pressure up, and put my screws probably on four to six inch centers. Here, I've got to pull this in, uh, and then I'll screw it through here, and this will lock in the back portion. As you can see, the fit is almost perfect. Uh, I had to painstakingly pull out these staples and bend this aluminum siding out. That took as much time as it did to lift it and get it on there. And then the front, we left, I left this piece of wood here that was existing, nice and solid. And um, yeah, when I, so you can see the flex there. When I apply pressure up and glue and screw this fucker together, it'll never come apart. Um, here, I put these in after I painted it, had a little epiphany. I'm, I'm gonna put a platform across here with a removable piece. This is actually uh, six foot wide across here. So one person could sleep right in here and then another person could sleep on the bottom. Um, I slept on my camping pad last night just to try it out. 30 inches wide, I was perfectly comfortable. My wife, probably not so comfortable on 30 inches. So we have a bed from Costco, a foam trifold bed that's 40 inches that will easily fit on the bottom here. So the next step is to uh, get this thing down um, good and tight. And then probably move on to uh, dressing the siding on the outside and sealing it back up, removing that rack. I've got a bunch of holes I have to address now. And then I decided instead of leaving a, this shit this color, I'm just going to paint it gray to match. But I got a lot of cleanup to do before I get to that point. So we're getting closer to be able to uh, load this in the truck and hopefully do a little boondocking this winter when excuse me when uh work is slow yep so there's the progress thanks for watching